So we just ate at the arcade restaurant. It's very, very, very good, excellent, and it's across the street from Central Station Hotel. So if you get a chance to come down here and look at the hotel, definitely do that or even stay. To give you an idea of where we're at, if you go where that red truck is at, right there on the right, if you turn right, the Lorraine Hotel where Martin Luther King was assassinated is right there. The fire station is right on the corner. Great Main Street actually goes down there and hooks right to go downtown. Elvis definitely hung out in this area. This is Central Station Hotel. Let's walk in here and let's have a look, see. Man. So this looks like an old train station. Look at this. How cool is that? So Trey, let's get the photos out and see if we can see anything. So this would have been Central Station back then. Now these steps, I don't think, were would be original to the place. What a cool looking place. This would be original though. Let's go out to the train tracks. So you see how the top is original right here. This is what it would have looked like back in the day. I'm gonna show you a photo. If you look behind Elvis, you see an upright and then behind it you see an upright. It would have been these over the top. So they were walking. You can see the tracks are still here. They were walking from here down the tracks to get on the train. We don't know which one, but it even looks a little bit like that style over there. So let's walk over there and look. It looks like this this one over here. Yeah. You see these? It looks very much like these, and they're tall too. They're way up there. Look. Yeah, he's walking by the train. Yeah, the train's on the right, but you can see that upright, and then behind it, you see another one that the flash didn't hit. It's like, and we don't know where, but you can even see on the ground, you can see that, that line right there. You see that yellow line? There it is right here. And the train would have been sitting here. Now they would have been coming out so it would have actually been the other direction. So where the photo would have been taken, and it could have been here, it could have been any one of these train tracks, would have been reverse. So if you look like this, if you look up, you can barely make it out. I'll try to change the picture a little bit to try to make it more defined, but you can see. You can see the how it curves. Yeah, you got that curve in it. So it was definitely here. We just don't know which one. There's no definitive way. But the other thing to think about is it wasn't, the yellow line wasn't on this side of it. The yellow line was on this side. So it would have been here. You can see where the track was right here. This would be over here. But this was all, I imagine this top was all the way down though. Yeah. That right there is more modern. But definitely Elvis was here out here getting on a train no doubt where these little barriers are here is where the end of the tracks would have been so where we're at in the middle of the parking lot here would have been train tracks and they would have all gone out and merged together to go that way i think amtrak is still here which is going to be that thing right there but let's roll up here and look <clears throat> at these trey thinks he's got photographs of elvis signing autographs right here 
in front of these barriers, but this would have been the dead end of the track. So they would have put these here to keep the train from running into the building. If you can imagine that. So you can see there was a track there, one here, there, 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 and there may have been more, and then you've got the Amtrak tracks that are still over there, but they would have all gone and merged together out there. Really nice hotel. I would definitely recommend you come stay here. And this is still Amtrak. You can see these fences here. Now this would be the hotel entrance where you park at. But back in the day, this was the way they got out to the tracks. And so there's an example of the train tracks. You can see they're still active. And Amtrak does pick up here, no doubt. So if you want to stay at a bougie place, this is the one. Really cool. So my conclusion after looking closer at the photos is that these are not original. You can see where they've been cut out and replaced and concrete poured back in there. The tracks are not original. I'm sure these tracks up here are original and that is original. I don't even think those overhangs there are original. They don't match it either, but you gotta consider that was, uh, heck, 60 years ago, 65 years ago. So friends, this is an example of the Frisco line at the central station. You see the building in the background and you see the overhangs beside the trains are actually smaller than the ones that we see there today. So they are definitely not original. Now this was taken from up in the building looking the other direction. Those solid silver things you see are the tops of the overhangs that we're talking about that are now gone. But that gives you an idea of the width of the tracks to the left is Main Street. And that is the Frisco line train right there. And you could see the overhangs at an angle and you see the round tube right there. It does match Elvis's photographs. You could see round tubes in the photograph, but it does not match the existing overhangs that are there now. Elvis traveled on Pullman cars a lot of times. So this would have been how he would have gotten in and out if he traveled Pullman on this particular line. There's train movement down there. He's not coming our way. Amtrak. It's like somebody hid their bag under some rocks and then it just kind of went away. Wonder what's in it. I don't want to know enough to dig through it, I'll tell you that. got Isaac Hayes. And look at this. You can come down here and hang out in the lounge. I bet you. They do this cool thing where they get up there and they get record albums out and they play them for you. Real vinyl. And they play them right here in this little area right here. They got turntables and all that stuff. Here we go. I call this bougie deluxe. So cool. So Trey, there was a lower concourse, look. So it could have been over there. So let's walk, let's go over there. Yeah, and then upper concourse. So it was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 on the lower. So that side over there is original. Bougie, 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 bougie. It's a big room in there of some sort. I don't know, it's like a big conference room. And then you got this little areas. Guest rooms, meeting rooms. 
Yeah, look at this thing here. We can't get in there, but that is cool. Look at this, guys. That's the grand hall. That would have been the main place that they would have gone in. That's the, the main room. Couldn't get in there. So this is what that room looked like back in the day. And you can see at the far end under the clock and the uh, menu, you see the doors. That is where those records are up high. So that wall where the records and all that stuff was is where the doors would have gone through where you could make a right and go to the lower tracks or go straight and go to the upper tracks. Elvis would have definitely been in that room right there. Very cool. You know you're in a bougie place when you see a piece of a, uh, what are these things? Ear pod. It's like a nice restaurant here, Bishop. You know what he says? He says, don't eat here. Might be my friends. All right, so back out on the street, Central Station. Check it out. The arcade. The Grayer Ghost and Central Station Hotel. So friends, Central Station Hotel is up there now. And this photo that we were looking at up there, we're looking at down here. This is the Malco Powerhouse. This is actually theaters down here. And that was, uh, that was, was the powerhouse at one time, meaning where they did electricity. And you can see that the smokestack is still there. And they even did a lightning bolt, like the TCB lightning bolt. I don't think this photo happened down here. At least the, those poles that you see behind Elvis are round. These are square, but this is where trains were too. So they were on two levels. The trains would be up there and the trains would be down here and the tracks going that way. Now, something that I did want to show you here that's interesting is look at this. This is a tunnel. So this is how they would have come out of the train station and gotten down to these tracks, but it actually goes through to Main Street. You can see where it, that used to be open at one time. This used to be open, they closed it off at one time. And then this is, we're directly under the hotel. If you went through that door we're directly under the hotel and you can see that they blocked this up. That's not original. But I wanted you to see that if you park in that parking lot right there, you can actually walk through to Main Street and you can eat at the arcade restaurant, which is right there on the corner. I'll zoom in right there. And this Main Street that you see down there, this is Main Street all the way down here. And you can see this is original to the train station, this, this particular setup, this building. Look at those, uh, what was that, stalactites or stalagmites? I don't know which one, but I know it's one of them. Kind of like a cave, but you can see this has been redone and they've made it where you can actually walk under and go to that parking lot. So if you're over downtown Memphis and you want to go to the arcade and you can't find parking, just cruise over here to this big parking lot and you can walk right under. But the people that would have got on the train from the hotel on the lower tracks would have come through here. And the way they would have gotten there is you see where it says lower concourse two tracks seven, eight nine and ten they would have gone through there made a left and come out through the tunnel yes they will
just another little piece of that Elvis puzzle. The more that things change, the more they stay the same. Plus I shots, plus c'est la même chose. So this is under the tracks. This is the back side of Union Station, up under. And this is what it looks like under the tracks on the side that's not on the ground. Well, that is old school. I wanted to come down here and look on this side of the hotel. Stay tuned. And see, they redid the power company. That is really cool. Look at that that uh, ladder. Can you imagine climbing that up the side of that thing? But I love that they took an old building and made it useful again. Look at those old windows. They got some cool artwork there. It's not graffiti, it's beautiful artwork. W.C. Handy and his famous Memphis Blues Band. Letter Carriers Band. Al Green. And Al Green, by the way, is a preacher here in Memphis. He has a church. We're going to go try to meet him one day. Learned that through Linda Boudreaux. Woodrow Boudreaux's sister. She'll get a laugh by that. This is the other side of the hotel. Kind of the back side of the tracks, if you will, or the wrong side of the tracks. Look at that, it's beautiful. But that just gives you an idea, a little idea of what it may have looked like back then. Elvis was definitely here at this train station when it was a train station. These boards seem a little rickety. But there you go down there people waiting in line to get in the arcade restaurant. So something else we'll look at is the powerhouse from high up here gives you a slightly different perspective. And trains do still run here. You see a train way down there. And trains still come down these tracks as well, just twice a day. But you can see the powerhouse, you see the smokestack. Pretty cool stuff. Now we're going to take to the air and fly the glory and let you see a little bit of the train station from the air and what it looked like around it. A little bed music for you, friends. Thank you so much for watching and tighten up.
friends, if you want to support this effort, make sure that you subscribe, like, and then join. That helps us to get more videos out there. Yes, it does.